Now, authorities at the Nuduwa Hokpe DA Basis School in the Akachi North District are appealing to the government to complete a three unit classroom block that has been abandoned since 2017. With a population of about 200 pupils, teachers are forced to combine classes as they grapple with inadequate infrastructure, impeding effective teaching and learning. The Nuduwa Hokpe DA Basis School was established in 2009 as a community initiative intended to make formal basic education easily accessible to all children of school-going age in and around the community. The school, which was absorbed by the Ghana Education Service in 2015, began with a three-unit classroom block and other makeshift structures built by the community. But with a growing population which currently stands at about 200 pupils, the school has been confronted with a huge infrastructure gap that hinders smooth teaching and learning activities. A three-unit classroom block started some six years ago has been abandoned while the school grapples with infrastructure challenges. Management of the school wants the block completed as soon as possible. In natural fact, we are sh short of infrastructure for the people. For that matter, we combine KG 1 and 2, class 1 and 2, class 3 and 4. I wish that also should be renovated and one to be added, making four classrooms, whereby we can use that one, that last one, to be our science resource center. Secretary to the School Management Committee, Martin Ewuma, told GH Wanders that the abandoned facility has become an abode for some dangerous reptiles, a situation that puts the lives of the school peoples in danger. And we have been killing a lot of snakes over here. And then we don't know what will happen next. So we are appealing to the this is assembly to come to our aid because uh, it has been long since they started this uh, project, almost seven years now. And the building is almost deteriorating. It has developed a lot of cracks. And as you can see, there are a lot of weeds there. And uh, as I said earlier on, there were snakes trooping in. So we are afraid. We are appealing to them to, to come to our aid as soon as possible. The walls of the abandoned project have developed deep cracks as the weeks pass by without any further action. Ranking member of Parliament's Education Committee and member of Parliament for the area, Peter Nochukuchi, in an interview says the government has failed woefully in providing the needed infrastructure to support teaching and learning at the basic level. It has become a major problem because if you travel across the country, you see our children still having education under conditions that are not good. There are no classrooms, no furniture in the classrooms. So you realize that uh, this is the first century. We should still have uh, uh, our children studying under trees and then lying on the floor to write. As part of moves to bridge the infrastructure gap, Pencils of Promise, in partnership with the MP for the area, has commissioned a well-finished three-unit classroom block to help accommodate the kindergarten pupils of the school. The new facility also comes with a toilet facility, amongst others. We always partner with uh, the assembly, the MPs, to contribute the counterpart funding. That's the sand, the stone, before the community, that's the communal labor. And that support has been forthcoming, so we are have several projects, as a varied projects so far, and then uh, that has helped to promote education, uh, teaching and learning in the catching of the streets. Despite this intervention, school authorities say the school's infrastructure challenges can only be fully resolved if the abandoned project is completed. For J. Faisal Abdul Idrisu.